What's up guys? So today we're gonna go look at some different neighborhoods that are in Baltimore that aren't raggedy. So <laughs> some good um, neighborhoods because a lot of people think that Baltimore is just raggedy and ratchet and some places are, I'm not gonna lie. Some places definitely are, but we're gonna just ride around and just explore some neighborhoods that aren't. So stay tuned. This next neighborhood though, this next neighborhood, yeah. <laughs> this next neighborhood, it's not really, it's like a community. It's a quick little like, you drive in and you drive out type of thing. But I love it. I really do. So like I'm from, I'm from East Baltimore. I can't really tell you about really any other neighborhoods outside of East Baltimore. Cause I don't really, I don't really go far to be honest. It's either I'm where I'm where I live at or I'm literally like leaving the state. So I'm showing you guys where I want to live in, basically. And it's really this little neighborhood is like something you would only see in like Atlanta or like I don't know. Maybe I know because I've seen these um these type of homes in Atlanta so you would see these in Atlanta you would see these on TV you would never think that you would see these in Baltimore if anything if anything you would think you would see these out in the county somewhere or out in like Bowie Maryland or another part of Maryland just not Baltimore so when y'all see these y'all gonna know what I'm talking about stay tuned I got y'all can't really tell y'all the neighborhood because I don't really know I just drive through here a lot sometimes when I just want to like I said get some little inspiration motivation I come back here now you think just based off the road that I'm on right now you wouldn't think that these would be anything I like them because they're in the cut and I like how they're like on a back road. I really do. Nobody would be able to find me.
for real. Like, I love, I want to live somewhere where I can have peace, you know? I don't want to be somewhere where it's a whole bunch of, like, rowdiness. Not even by being, like, um, like, in a negative way. I just want to live somewhere where it's not like you come outside of your apartment and it's a whole bunch of people because clubs are in your area or a lot of restaurants are in your area. I don't want to be like in the city city. First of all, let me just say, for one, let me point this out. These are condos. Like these are only, only you can buy these. You can't rent these. So these are all individually owned. Also, this apartment building right here, y'all, I want to live in these lofts so bad. Look at the personality. Like, the building is so old. And I like the fact that it's old and ran down like this because it just gives the building a personality. Beautiful. Y'all, what? I want to live here so bad. Like, I love how they didn't remodel, like, the garage. They left the broken glass. It just gives it more of that, like, vintage, like, what is the word I'm looking for? It gives it, like, that industrial kind of, like, feeling to it. It's not modern. And I love it. But even these two, these are, like, I think these are, like, three-story townhomes. But all of these homes in this neighborhood, because this is the neighborhood that I was talking about, all of these are like homeowners. Y'all, are y'all ready for this? What? What? Like Baltimore. Yes, Baltimore. It's amazing. It's beautiful. You would never thought to see these and I found these it's fucking gorgeous y'all it's beautiful I would live in these I definitely would I definitely would see it's like a quick community it's one way in and one way out uh oh I gotta move this box really fast hold on one second I'm gonna put you guys down for a second. I know these people probably looking out their window like, who is she? I don't want to run over y'all boxes. But yeah, I love it, y'all. This is probably my number one area that I will live in. Oh, let me put my seatbelt back on. I got one more um, area in mind that I want to show y'all. Uh, my favorite loft apartments, y'all. One day I'm going to take a tour and I'll put that on video for y'all too because y'all have to see the inside of these. It's crazy. It's no other, other loft apartment building for me but these. I'm telling y'all, when y'all see me in my loft apartment, don't say nothing to me. <laughs> just know, look, yeah, just know I'm minding my business and I'm happy. But all right, we're going to go to one more place because 
I can't really, for some reason, don't you guys hate when you had something in mind to do and now that you, you have to do it, you don't remember anything? That's me right now. I'm having like a crazy brain moment. So I'm gonna go to one more place. This community is, I'll just say that it's downtown. Baltimore, of course. So stay tuned, guys. You're going to love it. Another nice classy spot where I used to come with my best friend his name is Andre but this he actually introduced me to this area um, this is a nice classy spot where you can come on date night you and your boyfriend you and your girlfriend even you and your friends um, they have like a movie theater over there a lot of like nice classy restaurants a lot of seafood um it's a sushi spot in the back of here and all of that i love coming here i do and they have a lot of condos and apartments i used to work um actually in one of the condos down here so it's a lot of like nice, big, tall, high rise, you know, condos and things like that. And I actually, I used to work in this apartment, this condo building right here. So I'm very familiar with the area. Yep. I love it here. At nighttime, it is so pretty. And they have, of course, like a lot of high-end furniture stores. A lot of high-end stores anyway. So just, if you guys are ever in Baltimore, this area is called Harbor East. If you're ever in Baltimore visiting and you want some nice, classy spots to come to, this is it. It's a sushi spot 
and another restaurant back here that I'll show y'all. I want to go there. I've never been. I think I've, I've been to the sushi spot back here. And right over there is the harbor. So how beautiful is that? It's a spot. It's called Uzo Bay, I believe. I'll show you guys. Right there. That restaurant, they have a little spot right here at nighttime that you can go to. And they have like the lights and things like that. Here, let me take this off so I can show you guys. This spot right here is where I want to come. I've never been inside there. And then they have this spot called Uzo Beach that I'll have to come by and show you guys at night. It's so pretty when people are out there enjoying themselves. They have the little lights lit up. You wouldn't even think that you're in Baltimore. And then those, of course, where we're about to go are um, more apartment buildings. So of course, at any downtown, I feel like it's mainly apartments and condos. other part of the harbor I just wanted to show you guys really fast this little cute little area I'll go down here and show you guys the other apartments these are new these are new apartments that they put here Now we're in Fells Point, basically. But there's the other side of the harbor too. These are, um, I want to say these are apartments. All of those are condos and apartments. I'm gonna actually go down there so you guys can see him. I actually need to get over. I'm in the wrong lane. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. I'm just gonna show you the outside of these. Although I live in a house right now, I definitely want a condo look how beautiful they are and i like the more i like the downtown style apartment buildings like these i'm not really a fan of the more modern style apartments i don't really i don't really like those too much but um i want to live in these actually and i believe these ones are condos like you have to buy those they aren't for rent I want to live in those and now we're back where we started so now we're going to head over to the other neighborhood i was talking about
just wanted to point out that these right there are new condos that will run you at least I think they when I last time I came here I think they were at least like five thousand a month yep so we're just on the other side of the inner harbor we're downtown come to visit Baltimore that's a good spot to go to as well now keep in mind I'm just gonna go a little bit more again. Um, we are right behind downtown so of course, this is a very luxury, expensive neighborhood. If I definitely were going to live um, downtown, though, I would definitely want an apartment or a condo. They have a, a lot of nice apartments down here. Just gonna go this way. Like for example, I'll show you guys. Um, I don't think I can get there from this end. I'm just gonna point the camera over there. Those apartments right there, those brown and gray ones, those are new. And they're nice, I've actually seen them. These are nice houses right here. Nice little community. I really enjoy just like riding around sometimes, getting some fresh air. This is really mental therapy for me. And who wouldn't wanna see nice areas? apartments I'll show you those when I turn you'll be able to see them better boom the shaky camera too i'm holding it just because i spot different things and i'll be wanting to show you guys 
So I'm holding the camera in my hand. So I can just turn the camera when I notice something. Nice little neighborhood. back here too i just i like apartments i guess it's because i already have a house i know what to um expect i guess but i just like the simplicity in apartments look at these guys to show you guys these apartments really fast. I need to do an apartment vlog because it's so many nice ones that I've discovered just from driving around. Look at that. These are my type of apartments. Like a little cut and everything. Look at those. They got a little um, parking garage. You can't really see well because I'm in the car, but like it's bomb back here. I love it. When I think of homeowner buying a house vibes, I think of these. Here. And I definitely like these ones um, too. Gorgeous. I would love to just sit on the roof, my rooftop, and have a party and watch the fireworks because I'm sure you can see it downtown from here. Those are the apartments. More houses. This makes me so happy, guys. Like, I don't know about y'all. I think I need to go this way. This just makes me happy when I can just ride around and just see nice things. Like a lot of people go to the store, go to the mall, go shopping, go buy clothes, bags, and that's like therapeutic to them. But this is like therapeutic to me. You really, I don't have to leave Baltimore to buy a nice house or buy a nice condo. Although I definitely loved Georgia when I lived there. I really did. I didn't really do much. I didn't have any friends there or anything, but it was just peaceful. Every neighborhood that you went to was nice. Literally, like I, maybe because I didn't go further out into um, like Atlanta and other parts of Georgia, but where I lived in Georgia, it was amazing, amazing, amazing. The people were nice. You just woke up with this great like feeling, like this great mindset. I wasn't stressed, nothing. I loved it there. I really did. Oh, I wanna show, 
Ooh, okay, we're gonna go over there. See, I was supposed to be showing y'all houses. I keep running into apartments though. Because I'm a, I'm obsessed with apartments. Like, I don't care. I have three kids. That's the only reason why I have a house right now. It's because I have children. But I still feel like I can find me a nice three-bedroom condo, four-bedroom condo, something. I got to find something. Let's go over here real quick, though, and look at these apartments. Is it right here? Forgot how to get in there. No, it's not. This one, I think. Y'all. I love it. I like, I definitely love the apartments that be over top of like shopping centers. You can come out of your apartment and just get everything you need right there. I don't have to drive nowhere. I can just come out and walk. I love it. Love, 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 love. It's beautiful. I'm sure these type of apartments are everywhere though. The ones that be within the shopping centers, I'm sure these are everywhere. I've seen a couple of those, I think, in Georgia. Baltimore is lit. <laughs> Baltimore is lit. Wait till y'all see these million dollar homes on the water. I used to work here as well. I used to work everywhere. But no, seriously. Look at that view of the city over there. That's just where we were when I was showing you guys all of the um, the new apartments over there. Look at that. Can you see it? Wait till you guys see these homes on the water though. Just wait. Y'all gonna be like, what?
those like it's crazy these are the apartments I was showing you guys from the side love it love it look at that more apartments these are it guys look these behind these they have some that literally face the water it is beautiful it don't get any better than this this is how you know you've reached luxury let me roll the window down The Ritz Carlton. Millionaires. Right here. Beautiful. Millionaires right here in Baltimore, y'all. That's Federal Hill. That's the harbor. It's a the new um vlogs that i bring to you all and we're gonna do like some apartment videos i love looking at apartments and houses i can do this every day all day i need to be a real estate agent because i enjoy this so much but thank you guys and stay tuned for my next video